Today on Amateur Kitchen, we are making chicken with lemon caper sauce. And this is a recipe that is so delicious, Maria. Packed with flavor with the salty capers and the tanginess of the lemons. It is delicious. You are not going to be missing any of the calories in this one because like I said, it's packed with flavor. And this is one of those recipes. It's better when you make it at home. It's a great way to entertain because you know exactly what ingredients that you're going to put in there. Sound good? Yes. All right. Let's get started. I'm making this super simple and easy dinner, which is... Chicken with... Oh my gosh, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> which is... Chicken with lemon caper sauce. Here we go. And this is just going to help season it, right? That's plenty for that one. Not too much. And then what else are we going to add? That's good, huh? Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> and some pepper. Right. And we actually took a chicken breast and sliced it in half. Because I don't know about your place, where you shop, or where we shop, the chicken breasts are ginormous. I've said it before, I don't know where their chickens come from or what they feed them, but they're big. So uh, we cut them in half, which is a perfect portion size. And um, also what we're gonna do, Maria, is we're gonna season, that's plenty. We're gonna season the other side just a bit, <laughs> since we did a lot on this side. We're gonna head over to the stove and start browning this. It'll probably take about three, four minutes per side, just until it's nice and cooked in the middle. Okay? Mm -hmm. We'll start with that. Our pan is on medium high heat and now I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil in. Now I'm going to put my chicken into the pan. After four minutes, I want you to flip your chicken breast to the other side. And you want it to look nice and brown. Once the chicken breasts have cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and remove them from the pan and put them on a separate plate. And with this warm pan, we're gonna turn it down to a medium heat and add in one tablespoon of butter. And now a little butter is okay, all right? Along with about one tablespoon of some flour. And this is just gonna help start make our um, our sauce for our lemon caper sauce. And you're gonna want this flour to cook for about one minute just to cook out some of that flour taste to it. Okay, so that flour has cooked out. Now we're gonna go ahead and just slowly add in some chicken broth. And again, I use reduced sodium to cut out some of that sodium. And just go ahead and keep whisking this until it kind of comes together and just keep adding a little more until it almost looks kind of like a gravy. And make sure you get all those little yummy bits at the bottom. That's tons of flavor that's gonna go right back into this sauce. This lemon caper sauce is almost finished. Now we just need to add in about one tablespoon of capers. And if you love capers, feel free to add some more. I just want kind of that subtle flavor, especially because Maria's trying it too. Uh, I don't want it to be overwhelming. And then we're gonna add in the zest of one lemon. And I love the zest because it just adds so much more flavor than the juice. And be sure just to get the zest, not the white part, not the rind. You're gonna mix this together and let it sit for about a minute. And after it sits, we're gonna go ahead and taste it to see if it needs a little bit more salt or pepper. 
I love cooking at home because I can control the ingredients and especially when I'm watching what I eat, that is exactly what I want to do. With this dish, you could find tons of sodium in it when you go out to other restaurants and when you make it at home, you know exactly what goes in there. Besides the point, it's cheaper. And that makes it a two thumbs up. The last thing that we have to do is stick these chicken breasts right back into our sauce just to kind of get that flavor on it. And we're about ready to serve this dish. Now all we have to do is try it. That's right. Super simple. This is even a recipe that's perfect for entertaining. We'll see what Maria thinks. I don't know, I'm crossing my fingers with this one. You could serve this easily with a little bit of pasta on the bottom, along with maybe some asparagus or something like that. So I'm gonna put the sauce on the side a little bit because I'm gonna use it for dipping. I don't know what Maria's gonna use it for. Right? Okay, let me cut you off a little piece and tell me if you like it, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try it too. Get a little bit of the caper in there. That saltiness. Mm. Can I try it with ketchup? Mmm. Mmm. I think you're gonna like it, Maria. It's really kind of lemony. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Try it. I love chicken, but I have to have ketchup when I eat it. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's not bad. This is really a very classic dish. I love making it just for a quick weeknight dinner. It whips up just like that. And like I said, most of the stuff that you have on hand, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is always a great healthy alternative to something else, even going out. When you go out, you just never know what you're gonna get, so. Uh, I love cooking at home for that reason in particular. In the meantime, as we always say, we want you to head to our website, amateurkitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos. And as I mentioned in the last video, you can get a healthy eating recipe where we have all of our recipes for the past two years that are really healthy and very easy to make. We also want everyone to head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash amateur kitchen. And what do they need to do, Maria? Click that little like button. So you can follow us every single day. Well, at least I'm going to finish eating my chicken with lemon caper sauce. Maria might try it again, maybe with some ketchup. Right? She's one of those girls that likes ketchup with her ketchup. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and... I hope you try it too. We want to see you right back here again next time on Amateur Kitchen. See you later. Bye.